Hi Cancer, this is the Cancer Deacon 2, April, May, June 2018 Tarot Overview. I'm pulling three cards for each month, April, May, June. And of course this is for the Cancers who are born in the second Deacon. Uh, the exact dates of the second Deacon are in the description. If you were not born in the dates uh, in the description, then that means that you are not a Cancer born in Deacon 2. And you, are, have, you have to check the Deacon 1, Deacon 3. Um, dates to see if that's you. This is as close to a personalized reading as you can get um, in a generalized setting. So Deacon to Cancers and I already shuffled thoroughly and pulled the cards out to make the, this uh, go a little quickly. Uh, okay, let's begin. <clears throat> For the month of April, I think you have a lot of planning and strategizing. You're going to have to listen to your intuition and you're going to have to take some time out for rest and meditation and prayer. Uh, and when I say you're going to have to, I mean you're going to have to. I think that you're going to become very emotionally and mentally and just spiritually exhausted with what you've been going through or what you will be going through. The Five of Wands is conflict. And there could be internal conflict, too. You could be stuck with making a decision, and you're just going to feel torn. It also means that, you know, you're going to have to, yeah, you have to plan. You have to plan for something. You need to strategize, and you absolutely need some time of rest. But I think that even when you get busy with um, maybe paperwork or whatever you're dealing with, like putting your ducks in a row... It's important that you don't ignore your intuition. I think that that's really strong right now. And so it's important for you to, you know, nine times out of ten, our gut instinct does not lie to us. So if you believe something to be true, you know, take two seconds to uh, investigate and just see if it's, if it's something you should be worried about. Yeah, you're going through something that's going to require you to have all of your faculties and you're going to need to rely on your own instinct and rely on your own experiences in order to make the next move because there is conflict in April. In May it looks like you have options. I don't know if this is love. I don't know if this is work. But either way, you do have options. You're going to be have you're going to be able to choose from many if you're looking for work. There's going to be a few people who want you to work for them or work with them. If it's dating and love, you're going to have a few suitors or, or men who are interested in you, or women, who are interested in you. And the Magician card at the very dead center of this whole reading is saying that you can, you're in a position right now where you can actually manifest. You have everything, all the skills, all the experiences. You have life experience. You have work experience. Uh, you have the capabilities to turn like a penny into a hundred dollars. So you you can turn something, so you can turn nothing into something great in any aspect of your life right now. It's just a matter of you listening to your intuition and strategizing. In May, the Seven of Cups is saying, yes, you do have options. There are options out there. Make sure you understand that not all options are, these are not equal. Some options look really shiny and they're terrible. But the magician is saying, yeah, you have the ability to turn anything into something great. The Six of Wands at the end of May is saying you do move on from something. It means moving on. It means traveling on, sailing on, all the ons. And it does mean that mentally, mentally, you kind of checked out of a situation and you're ready to move on to something better for yourself. And this is a good thing. The trouble with this is that uh, you're... 
you are leaving rough waters for calmer seas, but are they calmer seas? You know what I mean? Like, you have to ask yourself, is this actually a better a better thing? And that's why it's under the uh, Four of Swords here, is because you, you do have to do some heavy thinking about it. Something is weighing on your mind very much. And I think that you, you do have to listen to your intuition and manifest maybe before you go to sleep at night, say a prayer or meditate or whatever you want to do to sort of maybe bring the seven of cups down to only two options or three options so that you can sort of sort through, filter out the shit options and choose the option that's right for you or choose at least the three good ones. Because either way, you've checked out of a current situation mentally and you're ready to move on. It's just a matter of moving on to what. For the month of... Uh, of June. So you went from having the Six of Swords mentally moving on to now you're going to be, by June, you're going to be like emotionally moving on. And June, you were like, I'm leaving whatever the situation was totally behind. Because, you know, what we have to move on physically, emotionally, and mentally, and spiritually. But you have to move on from a situation in all aspects in order for you to actually have that distance to to learn and grow from it and so it's a process it doesn't happen overnight so by you strategizing in April thinking a lot about a situation and finally making a move and finally whittling down to you know two or three options that are viable and finally mentally making that move at, at the end of May and then bringing yourself to June where you're like emotionally eight of cups, I'm, I'm okay, I'm going to move on now. I'm actually not sad. I'm actually looking forward to this. I'm actually excited about taking these eight of cups that were empty for so long and taking them to uh, another place to be filled. And that's sort of the energy that you have beginning June. The Page of Swords in June is saying that, you know, you do have an idea about something or someone did spark you um, with in, in a conversation with an idea about the possibility of something. This is all general, but if we're talking about love, this could be an air sign coming through. Um, I don't want to get too much into the signs, but I see a Pisces. I see uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And I see a Leo. That's what I see. What do you see? Just kidding. Don't look at the cards. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, I think that you're going to get some sort of message. It could be a message from a, a Leo in June. You know, either that or by the time June rolls around, uh, you are going to be really strong again. And I think that's what you needed. Or you're going to get an apology from someone or some sort of confirmation through text, email, something that's going to bring you this sort of comfort that you you made the right decision. It's going to make you feel as if you made the right decision. You chose the right option. Because by the end of June, Either something on the bad side, something is going to require you to be strong. On the good side, which I think that's what it is, you're going to regain your strength. And you're going to feel strong and feel good. And I do think it's going to come after a period of rest and meditation. But yeah, for sure the Eight of Cups is a good thing. It's, you're moving on emotionally from a situation and you're finally... But here's the thing is I want to say finally. Because I think that you were so wrapped up mentally in a situation and strategizing and planning and, and trying to uh, create a path for yourself that was safe to make an exit or to pursue something new or to do something else that you didn't really tend to your emotional well-being. And now finally, finally in June, you'll be able to tend to your emotional well-being. With the Eight of Cups, you'll actually be able to move the fuck forward. 
And that's all anyone can ask for. If they're, what did what that, that Winston Churchill quote? If you're going through hell, keep going. So you're finally going to make it through hell, whatever hell is to you. It could just be you fucking run out of gas. That's hell. Or months and months and months and months of strategizing and planning and trying to get out of a situation that no longer serves you. But by the end of June, yeah, for sure you have the strength card. And you're going to receive a message in June that either requires you to be strong or vindicates you and you find your strength again. That's your April, May, June 2018 Cancer Second Deacon. See you guys next time.